Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be building myself a new DIY electric skateboard. I'm going to be using this new kit I got which is the Revel kit. Now this is different than most other kits I've used because it's a direct drive kit and I'll show you what that means as we get this kit open. Now let's start the unboxing. Alright, so first thing is obviously the user guide. This is going to be important but we'll get back to that in a minute. Next. Oh man, they stick these things in here well. So next we've got sort of the meat and potatoes of the kit here. This is both the motor setup and the battery holder and the battery here. So like I mentioned before, these are direct drive motors. There's no um, outrunner motor with a belt. There's no hub motor. The motors are here on the trucks and they're connected to full size electric skateboard wheels. So what that means is that you don't have just a little sleeve here like on a hub motor. You actually have a full size wheel so you get all of that uh, shock absorption from that thick urethane. And this kit is actually the all wheel drive kit which means there's two of these setups and you can actually put this on both ends of your board and that way you get all wheel drive. Both of these have dual motors and they both have a removable battery here. Let's try removing this. How do you get that off? There's a button there. All right, so the whole battery just slides off. This is a 158 watt hour battery, so it's 36 volts, 4.4 amp hours. And it's pretty nice. It's, you know, thin, it's fairly lightweight, and it just kind of slides on there and clicks into place. So I think I'm gonna start by putting just one of these on the deck and start with a two wheel drive board, and then I'll upgrade to four wheel drive and we'll see how that goes. So next we've got charging cables. We've got, looks like a long reach socket driver. So it might come in handy when we're trying to get in here and screw this sucker on. Ah, so these are cool. These are uh, docks for charging the batteries. So this way you can put this on your desk or your table or something. And when you come in, you slide the battery out and you just stick it on the charging dock instead of having to turn your board over and bend down and find the charging port. So I don't know if I'll actually use these, but I'm gonna give them a try and see how they work and see if it's actually nicer than having to charge a board the typical way. Next, we've got our skate tool, which is pretty common. Our remote, which well, this is interesting. So this is definitely a different style remote than I'm used to. Generally, I'm used to that sort of boosted style remote with the thumb wheel. Uh, this one has sort of a spring-loaded uh, slider on it, which I'll have to see how I like that. Um, that could be nice. I don't know. It'll definitely take some getting used to, but we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm generally afraid of change, but I'll, I'll give the old college a try. Let's see. And lastly, we've got a couple chargers here. All right, so that's basically all there is to the kit. It's surprisingly simple in terms of the number of components. Uh, some other kits just come with a ton and ton of parts, but this is all contained in one unit. And just to give you a comparison here of what I mean by these direct drive motors, I'll bring in a couple uh, other boards to show you. So this is one of the first electric skateboard kits I installed on a board. This was a few years ago, and this is just a cheap AliExpress kit. And here you've got an outrunner motor, and it's connected with a belt drive to a rear wheel here. So this is a pretty simple sort of old fashioned way to do it. It's nice because you get that extra torque from the belt reduction, but you have to deal with belt alignment issues. If you don't have a guard like this one, you can get rocks and stuff in there. So it's kind of, a, uh, I would call it not the most elegant of solutions. So next, this is another kit that uh, I got a while back. This is the uh, unlimited kit with a loaded deck. And the nice thing about this one is it's got this hub motor here. So the motor is fully contained within the wheel. There's no belt drive here. There's nothing else going on. Um, the downside is that these generally just don't have as much torque and you have to basically cut into the amount of wheel that you have here, which means that you've only got a smaller sort of uh, sleeve of urethane that goes over the motor shell instead of having the full thickness of the wheel. And when you have something like these nice orangutan wheels, you really want to take advantage of that and have that nice full thick wheel so you're not working with just a sleeve here. 
So this is another, I mean, this is a good solution. I really like this kit um, and it's on this, you know, great deck. So I like this one, but I want to try out one of these direct drive kits as well. Now for the deck, I'm going to go with a loaded deck. And this one is the Fat Tail, I believe. Yeah, this is the loaded Fat Tail. I haven't used this specific loaded deck before, but I've used others from loaded. And I just really like them. You know, they're made in California. They're really high quality. They're the decks that Boosted used when Boosted started. So, you know, they've been around the block. They really know how to make some nice decks. So I'm going to use one of these suckers. Oh, and I just found in the box on a second level of styrofoam, they're actually these orangutan wheel adapters. So we just talked about those nice orangutan wheels, and it's cool that they include these adapters, so if you want to use those wheels, you can. Uh, I'm going to be sticking with the wheels the kit came with. Uh, they're already these, uh, let's see, these are 74A, look like ABEC wheels installed. Uh, and I also got the front uh, truck as well, which, like I said, I'm going to be doing a two-wheel drive setup in the beginning, so we've got the same wheels up front and I think these will uh, be good for me. But if you want to use orangutan wheels, they give you these nice adapters, so that's pretty cool. Now I was ready to start drilling some holes in this deck, but it looks like it's actually a simpler installation than that. You just put the four bolts in through the trucks like you were installing a set of normal trucks, and that seems to be the entire installation. So let's go ahead and do that. And the cool thing about this fat tail deck is you actually have a couple different options here for uh, your wheelbase length because you've got a few holes here where you can mount the trucks. So I'm going to go with a bit of a shorter wheelbase, and that's just going to give me a little bit tighter turning radius. All right, so this long reach tool definitely comes in handy at this step. All right, so now that I've got the motors and battery on, let's just give this thing a little test here. On, turn on remote. All right, how do you pair this thing? Press and hold on off for five seconds. Two wheel drive mode. Okay, paired itself. Ah, there we go, all right. Woo! All right, so top speed mode says 43 kilometers per hour, which is about 26 or 27 miles an hour, I believe. Should be plenty fast for me. All right, let's get the rest of this board built. Well, there we go. Finished the installation, and now it's time to head outside and test this board. First off, I can already say that the Revel Kit feels like it has good power and responsiveness. I thought it would take longer to get used to the throttle here, but the thumb slider isn't that different feeling than the thumb wheel style throttles that I'm used to. Braking is also quite responsive, though once I get the second drive unit on here, braking will probably be so powerful it'll nearly throw you off. I'm also really liking the ability to use the full longboard wheels. When I'm riding over bricks and pavers like this, they can be really rough on tough hub motors that only have thinner sleeves. But these direct drive motors are great, because I get the entire thickness of the polyurethane wheels to help absorb some of the roughness of these brick pads and sidewalk cracks. On smooth ground, different types of wheel options won't make quite as much of a difference, but every time I hit a crack or get back on the bricks, I'm loving this direct drive setup here. I'm gonna have to play with the trucks a bit, because they feel a bit tight. This is just my first ride, and I'm finding that the turning radius is larger than I'd like, and I can't lean as far into turns as I want to, so I'm probably going to have to loosen these up a bit, but that's an easy adjustment. But so far, the power is there, the braking is there, and the kit just feels really solid, and it rides quite nicely, so I'm pretty happy with it. So those are my thoughts on the uh, Revel electric skateboard kit so far with a bit of riding. I think it's generally a really good kit, you know, it was the easiest kit I think I've ever installed on a board. It works great, it's got good power, good braking. I'll definitely be interested to try putting a second module up front here so I can get uh, all-wheel drive, but for now, even just two-wheel drive, it's got plenty of power, and it's a really nice kit. So I think I'll definitely recommend this one in the future, especially for someone that just wants a simple, easy bolt-on kit that you don't want to start drilling a bunch of holes in your deck. Other than that, I just want to hear what you guys think. You know, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the Revel kit. And speaking of comments, last but not least, let's choose the randomly selected commenter from the end of my last video that will win the giveaway. And the winner is... Christian Lawrence. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from my books on DIY lithium batteries, DIY solar power, 
building your own electric bicycles or on electric motorcycles. And of course, if you want to win one of my books in the future, all you have to do is put a comment below this video and hopefully you will be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And if you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.